Hello my friends, Hawaii. I'm also fine. Today we are going to start this beast, I promise you. <laughs> I haven't been starting this motorcycle for at least three months so it's gonna be a very interesting cold start and I hope it will run but first we're gonna answer the question of one of my subscriber he just asked me to film this so it's not really good idea it wasn't really good idea to install this fitting over here for this side uh, lights because it's not really working as you can see so we just fix and you can just turn to the left and to the right you cannot actually put it down so maybe I'll change this one this fitting or this light so it's useless as you see so it's better to change it not so good and here we're just gonna start the engines I'm just gonna start it right away as it is and let's do it All right my friends let's start this motorcycle and here we go so this motorcycle doesn't have any kind of starter so just a kickstarter over here through the gearbox through the clutch itself you just rotate the engine but I will not rotate it so I have electric valve for the fuel uh, I just wonder if it's there so just open the ignition lock where is it so here we go with ignition and probably the fuel will go I hope uh, the filter already dirty it's a bad sign have rusted tank inside so I need to clean it up and it will be one more video about it but today I wonder where's my fuel the fuel should be here and it should go here afterwards why it's not dropping do I have it? Where is my fuel? Ah, uh, oh, oh, oh! Where did it go? Maybe I have some kind of leak here, and fuel just drop somewhere. Maybe there, and went down. Maybe I have the leak. Maybe I have the fuel leak. Well, anyway, it's not a big issue. I hope and we we'll just need some fuel It. You know my friends, then I was riding my bicycle, I thought maybe fuel just gone here uh, to the cylinders and to the engine carter, to the engine core itself. Maybe this valve is not working, this valve. Maybe it's bad. I don't know. So let's check it out. If there is some kind of fuel inside the oil. Well, it seems like... Oh, let me check. If the oil level is too high, no, it's, it's over here, near to upper part. And it's... It stinks like oil, so... I think no. I think the fuel didn't go to the engine because the worst scenario is the fuel goes through the carburetors into these valves and it may find its way to the engine inlet and then to the oil but it seems like it's not our case it's time for refueling
So now I will just check the fuel line itself. Or maybe, just maybe we have fuel leak over here. Where did it go? Fuel, fuel. Where did you go? Huh, very strange. Very, very strange. Okay, we have some fuel here. So let's try to start this motorcycle. Anyway, let's do it. So guys, it's gonna be the first start, the cold start, as you can see. I didn't start it before, and let's see if it starts. No, it won't. We have 11 volts of battery, it's okay. Still have some problems with it. Guess we have some here inside. Well, seems like working. Tired. So my friends, what can I say? Everything is alright, I just don't like the smoke coming from this left side, from this cylinder head. And yeah, I'm pushing to the sort of because I have the spare engine just lying here, it's a new engine, so for this one I don't really care. Let's just see the spark plugs. They should be brown, but they are not. It means that we have too much of fuel from this side. It's working but it's not very good, it should be brown. Uh, this one isn't brown also. And yeah, too much of fuel coming. I need to reduce the fuel. Fuel intake into the carburetors need more air there. 